Now at 5.30, a dramatic rescue in the San Gabriel Mountains, but that is only the beginning of a miraculous story. Good evening, this is the KTLA 5 News at 5.30. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. The woman survived four frigid nights after crashing her truck on Mount Baldy. It, if not for a good Samaritan, she might not have made it out alive. KTLA Shelby Nelson joins us live from Mount Baldy with more on the happy outcome. Shelby. A very happy outcome, and I'll tell you, Sharon Sandy, that during the day it wasn't that cold, but now that the sun is down, uh, these temperatures have really plummeted. We've seen the clouds move in, so it really is a miracle that woman was able to endure four nights on Mount Baldy. A rescuer arrives just in time to save a woman who had been trapped for four cold nights in Mount Baldy. Found this lady, she's been there since Wednesday. It's a discovery Chris Ayers had no idea he'd be making while fishing at San Antonio Creek Sunday. While there, he says he heard a woman's faint calls for help, and as he walked closer, this is what he discovered. You couldn't tell right away it was a truck. It was so mangled. A vehicle that had plunged about 250 feet from Mount Baldy Road after rescuers say the driver swerved to avoid hitting a deer. She was standing up um, with her head through the driver's side window. And uh, that's when I saw her. She was pretty banged up. She had some pretty good black eyes. and uh, She... Uh, she had some bleeding from her head, it looked like. No cell service, a broken ankle. Air says she asked him for help and water. He then found enough service to call 911. So rescuers could hoist her to safety. It's a miracle. I, I don't see how she did it. She started telling me about a coyote that kept bugging her, you know, getting around her. The incident appears to have been a freak accident, and fortunately, that woman has since been released from the hospital. The rescue is one that emergency teams are trained for. In fact, it was around this time last year, the West Valley search and rescue teams were responding to several calls, many of them hikers lost or trapped in the dangerous icy conditions. Mount Baldy's not really your, your training ground. Uh, Mount Baldy's kind of a destination hiking spot, uh, mountaineering spot, um, ice climbing spot. For many search and rescue commander Eric Vatier says they haven't responded to calls for missing or at risk hikers this winter yet. But once more storms move through, that's when the real problems begin. Many times when people find themselves in harm's way, it's because they were ill prepared um, or they didn't they didn't bring the right equipment with them. Again, this time last year, we were reporting on several missing hikers. The San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department tells us last year, two people died, unfortunately, and there were 32 rescues overall. Now, that uh, search commander did provide us some details or some tips on what people should do if they do end up coming out here. When it is ice, icy on Mount Baldy, excuse me, the only people that should be up here are experienced mountaineers with the proper equipment, and proper equipment meaning things like cramp bonds, which have larger spikes to dig into the ice, a GPS tracking device, food, water, a first aid kit, and always let someone know where you are going. But again, that main tip, you shouldn't be coming up here during the winter, especially when it's icy and snowy, unless you have that mountaineering experience. That's the very latest from Mount Baldy. I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you. In